So let's get those brains woken up again. Today, for your first activity, what I want you to do is you'll see two groups of objects. All you've got to do is put a circle around the group that has more in it. Thinking about which is the biggest group, that will help you to know which has more. Now let's use what we did yesterday with our number chart and let's do some counting in twos. Today we are thinking about the greatest and smallest. Greatest means the same as the most and smallest means the same as least. You will have lots of objects to look at on the next slides and what I want you to do is you've got to look at them carefully to think which is the greatest and which is the smallest. Let's look carefully at the first set of pictures. There are some cubes in a line. It asks which is greater. Now we're looking for the longest, the most cubes. So which of the lines is the longest? Now you can see at the bottom it says how many. This is where it gets a bit tricky. You've got to look at how many extra cubes are in the greater group than there are in the smaller group. You can do this by counting them. In my larger greater group I have 12 cubes and in my smaller group I have 8 cubes. To work out how many more I'm going to start from my smaller group number and count to my larger group number. So if I put 8 in my head, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that gets me to my top number. If I count my fingers afterwards, I have one, two, three, four fingers. So it is four more. Now let's look at our next set. So I have a long set of cubes and an even longer set of cubes. First, I want to know which is greater. Now I want to know by how many. I have 11 cubes in one row and 12 in another. This is a little bit easier this time. If I put 11 in my head and count on to 12, it is one more. Now look at the next slides and I want you to decide which is more than, less than or equal to. And then you can put it into a sentence. Here they've sorted them as pictures into greater than and less than. So today in maths we're learning about greatest and smallest and your challenge today is to go and be maths detective. I want you to go round your house and find two groups of objects. They could be anything. They could be pens, they could be crayons, they could be cubes, they could be toys, they could even be sweets if you've got sweets in your house. And I want you to show me two groups and tell me which has the greatest and which has the smallest so that you can compare the two and even give an extra dojo for anybody who can use sentences such as this group ha is the greatest and this is the smallest but this group has three more than this group you can tell me how many more or how many less they have, you get extra dojos.